you know, if I was 10 years ago, this would have been a perfect little deal for me. But now that I'm getting a little older, I like to sleep at night. I can't necessarily run 24 hours a day no more. So, you know, if you're one of those drivers where if you want to run 24 hours a day, seven days a week, this is the company for you. Let's go, boy! Yeah! So, of course, I am here for the stories. I am here for the testimonials. I am here for the experiences. I'm here for the stories. I'm just a messenger over here at the Lockout Man channel. The channel where the best conversations, the best reactions, overall, a great channel for you to pass the time. I want you guys to do me a favor and just engage with the videos. Like, comment. You don't even have to worry about subscribing. Because, see, subscribing is an afterthought. It's all about the views. It's about all about the engagement. Give me that, and I will appreciate it very much. In this episode right here, this gentleman had his experience with controversial company Super Eagle. He only been there for a little bit, but now he's about to leave because he sees, just like everybody else sees, that this company is not going to be what he's looking for. Shout out to Rooster Up. Make sure you guys go over there and subscribe to his channel. And you can see the rest of the videos over there where he talks about Super Ego and other companies like them. Right now, let's hear the story of Rooster Up and his opinion on controversial company Super Ego. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. This video is to do with trucking. We're the most hated group of people on the earth. Nobody likes us, but if you really think about it, if it wasn't for us nasty old truck drivers out here on the road, you would have none of your shit. This video was brought to you by a truck and a truck driver. This video today is about Super Ego Holding. Super Ego Twin. They got a whole bunch of different other companies in their little group here. Pros of the company. Uh, within a couple of days of you reaching Chicago, you'll be in a truck. They'll get you a trailer. Uh, it'll be a workable trailer. What do I mean by workable trailer? Well, all the trucks the same way. It's a workable truck. You're leasing the truck. You're leasing the trailer. You have to put money into the truck and into the trailer. Uh, unless you get a brand new truck, uh, you're going to have expenditures on the truck. Before you come to Ego Holding, this is what you need to make sure you have. Have at least three months worth of money. That way your wife or whoever pays your bills can pay the bills for three months while you're trying to get a paycheck. And so you need three months of bill money. You need at least two months of money to live on while you're trying to make money. Payroll's on Friday, but the money don't actually hit the bank till Wednesday or Thursday of the following week. That's how they operate. I've been in their truck for three weeks now. Uh, I would like to consider myself a pretty hard runner. You know, I don't refuse loads. I run hard. They got a system set up to where if you're out of hours, you call them. You say, hey, I'm out of hours. They'll give you more hours to run. They'll refresh that logbook for you. You keep on running. That's just the way they operate. You know, if I was 10 years ago, this would have been a perfect little deal for me. But now that I'm getting a little older, I like to sleep at night. I can't necessarily run 24 hours a day no more. So, you know, if you're one of those drivers where if you want to run 24 hours a day, seven days a week, this is the company for you. Uh, the second thing that I have a big issue with them, the language barrier between me and dispatch of anybody in the company. Now, my dispatch is not Serbian. English is not her first language, neither, which I don't have a problem with that as long as we're able to communicate like we need to communicate and get stuff done to where I can make money. Back on the money. Been here three weeks. My first check was 470 ish dollars. My second little check that's going to be deposited directly, $240, $50. That's it. That's, that's all the money there's been, and I've been running my butt off. I have really been hustling to get money, and that's it. They tell you to, to transflow the paperwork in. I have to wait on the load numbers to transflow the paperwork because, well, they, they're just slow about that. They don't give me the numbers like I need to get the paperwork in. So another problem. Say you get your truck, you get going, you blow a tire. The only tire they're going to authorize to put on that truck is the cheapest recap the loves have on the shelf. 
it is not gonna be a new tire you need new tires you need stuff that's gonna last you don't need some recap problem on the truck so why not give me what i want when i got this truck i was just i was wanting to get into the truck so therefore i really didn't take a real real good look at it all like tires in the back of this truck stuff for recaps now before you get the equipment it will go through their shop and it will be inspected and they will fix any major thing that's wrong with it before you get it now once it leaves their shop then you're responsible for everything that goes wrong you need at least two thousand dollars of personal spending money up front before you even walk through their doors you need at least three months of bill money at the house so your wife or whoever can pay your bills hide up front with super ego they will not pay your transportation to their place they will not pay your transportation from their place if you get pissed off and quit like I'm fixing to do, you better know how you're going to get home or get to wherever you This would be a good company if they paid timely, if they could get dispatched timely. Everything they do is broken. You will not touch a freight that is not broken. You're not allowed to talk to the brokers, period. That will cancel your contract. They will send you home, they'll tell you to find your way home, whatever. But you are not allowed to talk to brokers at all. The trucks are in. Um, if you got the money, uh, not so much wide open, it costs you $100. They'll turn the truck up to whatever you want it to run. Uh, they don't care how fast you run. They don't care how long you run. Uh, like I said, they'll give you new log pages every day. You know, you work your 14-hour shift. Call them. Say, hey, I need more hours. Takes them about an hour. They'll fix that log up for you. you got a fresh day. Hey, babe, you're on your way. The people, real nice people. I can't say nothing about the people. I mean, they they try, and maybe it's just me. I know I'm not gonna hold no bones back. Maybe uh, it's just me. I, I can't get the good loads. I can't get the runs. Whatever. I'm making poor decisions by accepting every load that comes down the the pike here at me. Uh, the way that I was taught how to truck drive is: you get your load, get it on the trailer, drive the load, deliver it, you get paid. Well, that's not the way it works over here. You know, Expenses really ain't that bad. I've got a 2020 model truck. The truck payment is $350 a week. Trailer rent, I think, is $275 a week. And then all your usual expenses as far as your insurance and tag and all that crap that goes along with it. Cash advance, $50 a week. That's all the cash that you're gonna get. No programs at all for medical or anything else. I went through the orientation. There was multiple, multiple, multiple drivers, at least 10 to 15 drivers that was coming back to them for various reasons. If I get mad at you and I leave you, I'm not coming back to you unless you've made changes. What else was super ego here? The trucks are okay. Uh, you can get a brand new one if you got $5,000 cash. You can get a brand new one with zero miles. A uh, truck with miles on it, walk in, pick the truck out. It can be a 2023 uh, truck down to, I think the oldest I seen was like a 19 truck. 99.9% .9 of their trucks are all automatic. I got lucky I got one with a standard in it because that's what I wanted. But the biggest thing with super ego, have lots of money before you come over here don't expect to get paid timely learn serbian that's their first language they don't have great communication with the driver choice of loads well they're coming up with a load board that we can pick loads off of it's still going to be brokered loads it's going to be a limited choice of loads regardless of where you what you're doing uh, they do have reefers they do have flatbeds now the trick with that is you've got to stick with a dry van for 90 days you can hang on for 90 days then you can move over to the reefer division or their flatbed division i don't know what they pay i don't know what it's like because i didn't make a 90 days i think this is my third week and I, i've just i've really i've had enough i'll be very honest with you i probably got 30 dollars of a bank account and I, i'm scratching my head looking which way should i go they get you the truck, they get you rolling, but man, have some money before you come over here. Make wise decisions, do your research. Uh, don't believe everything that's even including this video. I'm just making it to my point of view where I'm at with this company. I was promised 2,000 to 2,500 a week. Well, I told you earlier what I've made the last couple of weeks and it's, it has sucked. So that is my opinion on Super Ego Holding. If it wasn't for us nasty old truck drivers out here on the road, you wouldn't have none of y'all shit. This video was brought to you by a truck and a truck driver.